Hey buddy, Crow back again, and I've got some pretty big news. It's actually recently announced that Zen Studios now has the Williams license to do the digital uh, Williams and Valley uh, arcade games, the ones that were taken away from Farsight Studios. So, um, so this announcement actually makes a whole lot of sense of what happened several months ago where I put out the videos that, and it was announced that Farsight Studios would ha wouldn't be able to sell the Williams and Valley tables. They lost like 61 tables they had to remove. And this is the reason why. I, I mean, in the comments for those videos that I put regarding that, um, I heard all sorts of theories and claims as to uh, what would have happened. But one of the things that I, I did hear more than once was that um, people would say, hey, wouldn't it be nice if Zen Studios got the Williams license? And I was thinking, you know, that would be nice, but they're really known for the, uh, you know, the really digital um, pinball games, uh, pinball uh, tables. Uh, you know, the things that couldn't really happen in real life. Um, so that, you know, with Pinball FX3 and, you know, the physics really doesn't uh, relate to real physics. So if they did that, they would have to change a few things. And I will get into that, but this is the announcement. Now, here's the thing. I'm actually recording this at least over a week before the actual announcement's been made because I, I, uh, I, I've known actually and I, I've been under NDA I haven't been able to say anything about it so I'm actually just waiting for Zen Studios to make their announcement before I post this video which should be around September 4th September 5th I'm actually just gonna make this video and put it on hold until the actual announcement is made um, but this is what they should be saying I'll put a link to their channel at least in the in the channel description and I'll probably maybe update that to the v actual video um, but um, Williams announcements details that's uh, no no um, no just that Send Studios has secured the worldwide rights to the Williams library and we will be releasing tables hopefully in October so this is what happened this is why Farsight can't do it Send Studios got the worldwide rights uh, exclusive rights as it were um, more information um, they have entered okay I just said that uh, the product name will be Williams pinball so it more than likely will be a separate product but I'm almost willing to bet now this is my speculation that the Williams table will be Williams tables will be also available in pinball FX3 they've done this before they have Marvel pinball but the Marvel pinball tables are available in pinball FX and then they had Star Wars pinball but those Star Wars tables are also available in, Star, uh, in Pinball FX. So it wouldn't surprise me if they put out a separate product for Williams Pinballs, P Williams Pinball, but those tables would also be available in Pinball FX3. That wouldn't surprise me, though that's just my speculation. Um, the first set of tables, now these are the tables that they're going to be releasing when they actually do release uh, the game. Uh, volume 1 will be Fish Tales. Um, good table junkyard a lot of people like junkyard it's not one of my favorites but it's it's, it's one of the late really later Williams tables uh, medieval madness now that's a great table everybody loves medieval madness I, I shouldn't say that because somebody's gonna make a comment and say hey I don't like medieval madness but that's a, an excellent table to start out with and uh, the getaway high speed 2 which happens to be one of my personal favorites and probably my favorite out of these four that they're gonna be releasing um, the, the game should be coming out sometime in 2018, although there is no specific hard date to it. Um, now, here's more details about it. Um, Zen is producing true-to-form classic simulations of these tables, so it's not going to be um, like Pinball FX3, where you know it's just an interpretation of what could happen in Pinball. These are going to be... Um, like like what uh, Farsight Studios is trying to do with Pimba Arcade, real you know simulations of machines as close as you get to possible. Because we all know that you really can't do you know digital pinball machine exactly the same as a real pinball machine. It's just not going to happen. Um, physics had been adjusted for these tables, and they played differently from Zen's previous games, which is excellent to hear because you really wouldn't want the pinball fx3 physics in these games it wouldn't feel realistic at all and i'm gonna let you in on a little um thing here is that i've actually played this they've actually given me access to the beta and i've played it 
and yes the physics are completely different i want to go too much into the details of the physics because it is in beta and things could change but yeah it feels much more like a real pinball machine than pinball fx did um personally i'm not used to it yet and, and honestly it might be very very close to a real pinball machine because i seem to do as poorly in, in what i've played so far in the beta as i do in real life um authentic sounds music artwork etc and then um the last thing i'll kind of go over and this there's a lot more in here but i'm, I'm not going to cover it all but uh zen is proud to promote the awareness of pinball history including locations where players can play the machines which seems kind of odd because like that would mean that they would have to keep updating where you know these williams tables are you can be played because you know tables move from place to place and, and you know if uh, unless it's really only going to be like the museums, like the more permanent locations where you wouldn't expect these tables to to um, to go. So it'd be interesting. Um, but I will say that I have played this. It is um, fantastic. I'm going to put some footage. The rest of this video is just going to have footage of my ter ter terrible, terrible, terrible gameplay that I've played so far in uh, in this. But yeah, they look really clean. It, they look as clean as tables in Pinball FX have looked already but yeah there actually there's not much more to say i really can't say much more like i said i am under nda uh there are there, there's going to be more and more to this than what i've announced there's going to be more than what um like say for example farsight studios does for these tables i just you know there's a couple things that i'm unsure of that haven't been mentioned at all i i just you know things that don't normally happen in pinball effects tables that i kind of hope they bring over to this like i really hope that we have the ability to move the camera around because that's something you don't you don't have the access to in uh, pinball effects yeah you have multiple camera angles and you you have multiple camera angles in this game as well in this uh well at least in the beta and um it's very very reminiscent of pinball effects the camera angles that you do get um, additionally, one more that I find really interesting where you can kind of see the DMD and the play field all in one shot. Uh, and when that happens, it automatically takes the DMD overlay off the screen. I also found that by hitting up, <laughs> you can look at the backlash just by itself anytime you want during gameplay. Again, this is something that's in the beta. I don't know will actually make it in, in the, real, the full product. I really shouldn't even be talking about it because it is a beta. Really, the, the takeaway here is that pinball... Uh, F, well, Zen Studios has the right to bring out all the Williams tables, and they're going to be starting out with these four. And like I alluded to, there are more features. There's one feature I really wish I could, um, I could talk about, but I can't. I really can't. But it's gonna, it's gonna make it all worthwhile. To, it's gonna all make sense. It's gonna be something that Zen Studios is gonna be known for when they do the uh, Williams tables. Um, and I, I and I, I really can't say. I, you're just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna leave with this beta of Williams pinball footage, and uh, that'll be it. Until next time. See you then.
gonna run from Spike anymore.